This is Icon Siam. It houses brands like Hermes, Prada, Cartier, Tiffany & Co, Dolce & Gabbana, Maserati. It is located right on the banks of the mighty Chapraya River and this mall even has a mock floating market. Yes, you heard me right. There is a market and a floating market right here in this luxury shopping mall. And they also have ample of seating available where you can enjoy your food. The mall even has a separate section for the luxury brands. It's called Icon Lux. So you don't know what you're doing And the walls are closing in Just remember where we're going And remember where we've been We can breathe underwater And also here in Icon Lux you will find these 16 meter tall pillars the designs on these gilded pillars were created by a Thai artist. Also in this section you will find Jim Thompson, the famous silk designer. You wouldn't expect to find things like this. Maseratis inside a shopping mall. This absolutely beautiful beast over here is a Maserati MC20 and it costs 24 million baht. I feel like a child in a candy store but uh, <laughs> I cannot afford this candy. Also in Icon Lux is this tourist lounge. You can come and use the lounge over here if you spend 3,000 baht in the mall. There's no eats and drinks here though, you only get bottled water. More importantly, you can come to the staff over here and get a gift voucher. So if you spend 50,000 Thai baht, then you can get 1,500 in a gift card. And if you spend 3,000, you can get 450 Thai baht in a gift card. So keep that in mind. They very often have art exhibitions and other exhibitions here at Icon CM2. See this long canvas over here? It's almost a million baht for that. We're going down to the ground floor to Suk Siam. And I came here especially early this morning to come and show you this area before it gets too crowded. Because generally after 11, after the foreigners had the lovely buffet breakfasts in the hotel, they come over here and it gets busy. And at 12 noon, the locals come here too for lunchtime and it gets even busier. This is Suk Siam. It is the food court of Icon Siam. It also has a mock-up of a floating market. There is a lot of food to be found here and the food here pretty much represents all 77 provinces of Thailand. There's also some seating where you can enjoy your food. The food here is a bit more expensive than what you would find on the street, but it's certainly a lot cheaper than what you would find upstairs in the higher levels of this mall. It's really hard to believe that all of this craziness down here is inside a luxury shopping mall. For those of you who are fresh off the plane and still feeling a bit nervous about diving into Thai street food, I would say that Suk Siam is a very good introduction to street food. It is definitely very clean here, it is organized, it's air-conditioned. You do not have any excuse now. On the ground floor at Suk Siam there's also this shop where you can come and have pictures taken of yourself in traditional clothes. Pretty cool thing to do. How much? 600. And a 600 Thai baht and that is for one person and you get two photographs out of that. And they actually have a whole changing room up here separate from the other shop. They're very well organized. This is something so typical of Thailand. They always give you these very tiny little changing rooms like at markets where you're supposed to try on your clothes. So I'm all set in my 
Thai traditional outfit. I must say I'm feeling quite swanky. In addition to having a photograph taken, they also allow you to walk around the shopping mall like this for one hour. So, um, hey, I'm not scared. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I certainly am getting a bunch of looks walking around like this. Hota. Oh, really? Jinglo? Oh. They were law, mate? Law, law. Number one. Part of Icon Siam is the magnificent luxury condo called the Magnolia's Waterfront Residence. There's also a hotel too. The residence is the tallest building in Thailand at the moment at a whopping 318 meters with 70 floors. The mall stretches over 11 floors. I'm adding in basement one because there are even some shops inside the basement including a very, very cool pet shop. And there's a large Apple store. This Apple store has a nice outdoor area where you can take a selfie with your new iPhone. It's really great coming out here to the riverfront and having some peace and quiet away from all of the crowds. And that's the thing with Icon Siam, there's so much of this outdoor space. The entire front facade of Icon Siam has outdoor space on every level. Many of the shops have their own outdoor areas. But of course there are also these areas where you don't need to pay for anything in the restaurant to come and enjoy the outside area. And there are multiple levels too, which keeps it quite interesting. There are two Starbucks shops in this mall. This is the largest Starbucks in Thailand. It also has a very nice outdoor area. So how to get here to Icon Siam? Well, Icon Siam is, as we say, on the other side of the river. The city is right there behind me, so more than likely you'll be staying in the city. In that case, I would recommend taking the SkyTrain or taking the taxi to the Si Praia Pier, which is this pier right next to this white building, the Sheraton Hotel, and then jumping on the Icon Siam Ferry, which is free. It's cool, it's a short trip, so you might as well do it. Plus, you'll get a really good view of Icon Siam from the river. Alternatively, if you would like to stay in air conditioning all the way, then I would say take the SkyTrain all the way to Kruntonburi Station. From there you jump onto the Gold Line monorail, which comes right past Icon Siam. If you're planning on taking a taxi from Icon Siam, keep this queue in mind. There's even a separate section if you're looking for sports goods. And if it is scraps you're looking for, well, there's plenty of that too. There's even this crazy waterfall and people clearly like this waterfall very much. So this happens every hour for 15 minutes. Definitely one of my favorite restaurants here in Icon Siam. This is Great Harbor. It is an international buffet, but the food here is really good. All the food is served a la carte style and it's good quality and it looks beautiful. I did a full review of this restaurant a while ago and I will put the link to that video at the end of this video. On the sixth floor, you will find many restaurants, including this very cool dining area. Kind of makes you feel like I'm in an Avatar movie.
I'm stopping for a quick lunch. I'm at Gojak Topoki Chicken, which is a Korean restaurant on the sixth floor of Icon Siam. And this Gojak, they have more than 250 branches in Korea. Today, they're going to give me a couple of dishes to try out. So, very excited for that. My first two dishes have arrived. This is the original Topoki soup. This has tteokbokki, which is this thing over here. It is a Korean rice cake. It is soft and chewy. There's egg, there's also some ham and sausage. This tteokbokki soup is so good. It's got a slight bite to it, a bit of a sweet taste, a lot of flavors in there, and it's nice and warm. This over here is the original gold duck chicken. They say it is crispy on the outside and juicy on the inside. They nailed it. It is so, so juicy. Can you see this? And this is served with french fries. And this dish is the garlic chicken. It's a chicken done in the garlic sauce with garlic flakes on top of it. It's got a lovely sweet taste to it. And comes with more takoki. That food was so good. But I'm full. People look at me and they assume I eat a lot of food, but I don't. So, uh, I took a doggy bag. I'm actually going to take a walk inside here and show you these cinemas because they're pretty cool. Besides all the regular cinemas, in this Cineplex you'll also find an IMAX theatre, there's a kids cinema, a VIP cinema, there's a 4D cinema. Next to the cinemas is Harbour Little Thailand where you can come drop off your kids and they can play to their heart's content while you go and shop to your heart's content. Also right now on the 6th floor they have the Van Gogh Alive exhibition. I'm now inside the Van Gogh Live experience, literally inside like I'm in a painting. <laughs> It was an awesome experience and you can very easily spend five minutes in there or an hour and a half. If you're not yet amazed by the sheer size of this place, let this tidbit of information dazzle you. Icon Siam has more than half a million square meters of retail space. Favorite shop, Royce's for Japanese chocolates. Favorite shop, Bulgari Donk for bread rolls because it's surprisingly hard to find good dinner rolls in Thailand. Favorite shop, Gaburi Chicken for really tender, juicy chicken pieces. Favorite shop, 7 Eleven for a quick, cheap beer. Favorite shop, Nush for bath bombs and other amazing bathroom things. Favorite shop, Starbucks for good coffee. Arabica for even better coffee. Favorite shop, Great Harbor for a fantastic international buffet. Favorite shop, Dear Tummy for great groceries and imported goods. If it's fast fashion you're after, then you'll find here Uniqlo, H&M as well as Zara. This is Takashimaya, specifically CM Takashimaya. It is a very popular department store from Japan. They've been around for like 80 years. And now we have a full-size store right here in Bangkok. This department store stretches over seven floors. There's a whole bunch of Japanese restaurants down this alley. 
Loft is a good place to come and shop if you want some stationery or some other goodies. They have a lot of cheap decorations around Christmas time too. All of these people and me are waiting for the water fountain show. It is the longest multimedia water fountain show in Southeast Asia. And this happens at 6.30 and 8 p.m. every night, right here by the riverfront at Icon Siam. Icon Siam is open from 10 o'clock in the morning until 10 at night. I should also add that they have basement parking as well as tower parking. I would suggest the tower parking. It's a lot more open and fresh and not so hot in there as it is downstairs in the basement parking. Oh my god, how do you even drive this car? There's like nothing in here. You can't help but get a warm, fuzzy feeling when you see stuff like that. We made it just in time for the water fountain show. I am now outside Icon Siam on the street side as opposed to the water side. And this track over here is the SkyTrain track. This is the gold line. Oh, there it goes. This is the gold line. It's not a very long line. It only has about four stops, I think. But it does connect with the other longer lines, which takes you right into the city. But there's something else I want to show you. Just when you think we are done with Icon Siam over there, then it's also this. Across the road we have ICS, which is like an Icon Siam add-on. I have no idea what ICS stands for. Maybe Icon Siam small? I don't know. But it's not that small actually. It has eight floors. We're going down to the basement because I want to show you the supermarket here. It's one of our regular supermarkets, Tesco Lotus, but this is like a more upper class version. This is Tesco Lotus Privé. You see, this is one of the reasons why I like Icon Siam so much. There's always parking here, and the parking is neat and clean, it's very well organized. But also do yourself a favor and park on the whole numbers. If you park on the A levels, then you need to climb stairs to get into the mall itself. I showed you where I park. This is where the luxury cars park. There's like 20 Porsches parked there. You get two hours free parking at Icon Siam. And if you show receipts for various values, you can get more free parking up to eight hours free and that is if you purchase for 2,000 baht. You can get your free parking on the ground, M and first floors. Also look out for these booths on the sixth floor but that is only on weekends though. If you find value in my videos then please do subscribe.
93% of people who watch my videos are not subscribed. I can really use your support. Also, like, share and comment. Let me know what do you think of this magnificent luxury shopping mall in Bangkok.